So Mark, um, talk to me a little bit about from uh, the customer side, where, where, where are you, uh, when are you using TechX and kind of what has the conversation really start? Sure. Well, and thanks, Chris. I appreciate the question. My name is Mark Spent. I'm the Vice President of Service Delivery. Been on a couple of trendsetters before. Happy to be on here with Gary. We have a great relationship with TechX. And the key driver for that, for most of our customers, what we find is just as Gary described, there's a lack of, of information. And someone is thinking about an international project, getting equipment shipped to countries maybe they're they're just not accustomed to shipping to, at least not at scale. Maybe it's a, a once in a while thing. Well, they have a large project and need a lot of systems deployed. We find our customers making many assumptions. We've had customers who overbuy equipment with the expectation that they'll lose equipment during international shipping. We've had customers who expected or are way over budgeted on what the cost might be or what the, the schedule might be uh, because they just didn't know. As as they come to Citercom and we start working with them, a lot of it comes to let's get good information right out of the gates. Let's help inform the customer on what reality might look like. And that's where TechX is extremely valuable as a partner. Right out of the gates, we get the, the address information. We understand what kind of equipment is shipping. We get some of the, the general details on it. We don't need everything, but we need a little bit so we can understand what are we going to send? What's the quantity and volume looking like? We work with TechX, providing them with that information. What they feed back to us is very accurate cost and schedule estimates that we in turn wrap into the models that we share back with our customer. And it's often eye-opening. There is a, a lot of times a change in decision based on the information we feed back because the customer now being informed recognizes that you know, there might, be a, there might be a better way to do this. Maybe we thought we would procure in-country. We thought that would be the, the most efficient or the least cost way of doing this. Based on what you've sent back and provided us and what you are describing to us on your experience and the experience you've got, Sumercom, of course, working with TechX, shipping internationally, uh, we think it's probably better for us to centralize all of our testing, configuration, production readiness and then benefit from the information you're providing. If you think you can really do that, and of course your answer is, if this is what we're telling you, this is based on continuously updated experiential data. Uh, and our, our reality is that what TechX tells us is what, we, is what we typically get in that international shipping. It's what our customers typically get, and it works out very well. 